fellow Sudokans, and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's, uh, what is it, Saturday the 29th of April 2023. I hope you are keeping well, enjoying your weekend. If you can have a long weekend, like many people are across the world, have a good one. Um, what's happening in the world? Back in the UK, I see, um, uh, what's his name? Richard Sharp has uh, resigned as chair of the BBC and about time too. Uh, yeah, it's taken a long time. This is the guy who uh, arranged Boris Johnson's loan on the quiet. When I say on the quiet, because he didn't declare it or anything like that. And it's uh, it's difficult to... Yeah, the BBC used to have uh, a reputation... It's difficult to explain to people who are outside the UK, who are not British, uh, about the importance of the BBC in British society. I think it's always been a kind of... Uh, a news organization that people trusted. Now, you can easily argue that it never deserved that trust, and I might agree with you, because it's definitely pro-establishment almost every time. But at least they do better than the American um, networks of uh, cable networks and stuff like that. And, and, you know, Britain really shouldn't go down that route of having private networks, which are very partisan and st- tend more towards opinion rather than news. If we're focusing on news, of course, the BBC, ha- BBC has a lot more than news. Uh, but, you know, just just f- for instance. Uh, and uh, I think um, really the, the government ought not to be involved in any way. They ought to be, in that phrase, at arm's length. Well, they ought to be um, more than a couple of arms and a couple of legs away uh, and let um, the organisation choose from um, from among its most skillful uh, people, not um, and also not to pander too much to kind of uh, popular popular populist. I can't speak this morning. Populist ideas. Uh, its original its original charter was to I've forgotten now. Educate and inform or something like that. Entertain, educate, and inform. There we are. I've remembered it. It's come back to me. Yeah. Uh, well, when it gets to the entertainment, don't down don't dumb it down too much don't follow some of the commercial channels they've already done it i know but you know into some of the ridiculous things wasn't it who was it who died yesterday that jerry springer was it you know some person who wants to uh dumb down tv to the uh to the, the worst common denominator anyway let's get on with the game of sudoku i'm feeling a bit tired actually i'm not sure i'm gonna do a good job here but let's see this is the guardian expert level game for um, Saturday, as it is every week. Okay, I can see something. Let's start, shall we? Let's start with these threes blocking up here and across here. That's going to give me a three in that square there. Um, Can I spot anything else before we get into it? Um, oh yeah, we've got the nine blocking across here like this, so that's going to give us a nine there. Oh, look at that. We've got nines going up here now and up here and across here. That's going to put a nine like so. Uh, what's missing from here? Four, seven, eight. We've got a four, a seven, and an eight in each column, so that's not so easy. Uh, what does it mean? It means sevens are going to be over here. Does that help us any? Um, where? Oh, no. Uh, eights, and fours. Fours, 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 fours. Okay. Um, mm, 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 Let's go on a digit hunt to get started. We have ones up here. Oh, twos are solitary. OK, 
Okay, we have fives like this. So we should be putting a five in this square. Six blocks up here and across here. That's going to put six into one of these two squares, blocking back this way. Six across here. There's a six. Six down here and down here and across here means that's a six. There. Six is like so means we're going to put another six there. Six up to the top and across here. Um, and over here, is this the last one? I think it could be. It was the last one, okay. Eight blocks down here and across here. That puts eight into one of these two squares, blocking over this way, eight blocking over here and eight blocking down. Will give us an eight in this square. Go through again quickly. I think that's it. Sorry for the extended silence. I will get there soon. Those of you are, who are ahead of me already, hold your horses.
Okay. Uh, missing numbers across here are two, four, and seven. We've got a four and a seven in this column, so that's a two. Ah, okay, so two blocks up across like this, so that means that one of these squares must be two. Now, in this row, we need two, three, four. Now, we've got two definitely in those two squares there. We've got the three blocking down here, so we know this can only be two or three, and that's going to put a four into that square. And now we have four blocking across like this and up and down. So the four will go there. Right, we know this was two and three. So these squares have to be one and nine. We've got the nine blocking across here. So here's our nine, here's our one. One blocking across here and a one up there. So here's our one. The last number for this row is a seven, I believe. Uh, missing numbers here, two, three, I guess. Missing at the ends of ends of the earth. Missing at the ends of the earth here are two and eight, I believe. I'm not sure about those just yet. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to click on the digits again and see if I can find a bit more. So I have spotted what, that we have one and five in that section. Oh, six is done. Uh, looks like we have a pair, four and seven up here, four and seven across here, four and seven across here. So we have a pair of four and Seven right there. How does that help? Uh, well, it means one blocks this square. Now we know this is four and seven. One blocks this square, one blocks this square, and one blocks this square. So that is where the one has to appear. Uh, now one across here and one down here puts one into one of those squares. So across and across here and up here. That means that has to be a one. Uh, now I've forgotten what it was that I worked out here. This was four and seven. <laughs> okay, this, my memory is so bad. Uh, what do we know about the twos? Anything? Do we know anything about twos? I don't know. Uh, fives. Yes, we have five blocking up here and five blocking up here. So that's our five. Five then blocks across here. That gives us a five in that square. Five down here, five down here, five across here. 
gives me a five here, five across here. There's a five and then fives to the top. Cross like this, there's our five. Five and six now done. Uh, missing here one, two, eight, and we've got two and eight in the same column, so that will be our one. And so one blocking down here and the cross here puts the one into that square. One, five, six, finished. Now back up here, I'm finished looking at this. This is four and seven, so in these squares are going to be, oh yeah, of course, two and eight, because this is two and eight down here, so we'll be left with two, eight here. Do we know anything about the two or the eight? No, we do not. Not yet. Um, okay. Right, but coming on quite nicely, I think. I'm not in a rush today. Are you in a rush today? It is Saturday, after all. Let's hope you're not in a rush today. Plenty of time to play Sudoku. We have four blocking across here. Here's our four. Four up here. Four down here puts the four into that square. Four across... Forget that. <laughs> Let's just do this instead. Seven is missing in this column, I believe. And missing for this block uh, will be an eight. So eight blocks up here, and that gives us an eight in this square. And the missing two, is it there? Yeah. Two blocking back down this way. Here's our two. Missing number here is a seven. Uh, sevens to the bottom. There's a seven. Um, nine blocks across here and nine blocks up here. That will give us a nine there. Nine blocking down here puts the final digit nine there. This is a three. Three blocking up here puts three into that square. We also need a three for the end of this column. Uh, we have threes blocking across the bottom two rows, giving us a three here, and then a three blocking should give us the final digit. Three missing number here is a two. Um, two, we also need to finish this block here, then two blocks up there, giving us the two there. Missing number here is an eight. Eight blocks across here. I remember this column needed an eight, so the eight must go at the bottom here, and this will be our two. Two blocks down here and the cross here gives us two, final two there actually. Missing number down here is, uh, what are you? Four. And the missing number here is going to be a seven. So seven blocking to the top and the cross here gives us seven there. Uh, the four blocking up here puts the four into that square. And to finish the expert level for Saturday, an eight's going to do it. That's our guardian over and out. As I say, I hope you are enjoying your holiday weekend. Bye-bye.